I've come to the lovely town of Cast in the province of Tarn in the Midi Pyrenees. And the town has a wonderful market in the main square. But it's not just the fabulous French produce and the wines and the cheeses that I've come to look at today. I've come to look at a property that's for sale that is simply amazing. I really can't wait to show you this place. But before we go, I need to get some provisions. And just out of the town, amongst all this fabulous countryside, is the home I've come to see. So here we are, just a couple of miles out of the market with my cheese and wine. And here we are in this amazing kitchen. Now, this kitchen um, is actually a Martin Moore. And not only did they supply it, they actually came all the way from the UK to come and fit it. It really is quite extraordinary. We've also in here got amazing tiles on the floor that are gorgeous. Of course, this beautiful, central island here which is solid teak top over there we have a fridge we've got double ovens we've also got a cast iron cornish oven and uh, these amazing beams on the ceiling over here we have the housekeeper's cupboard wouldn't you just like to show that off at a dinner party and as far as the rest of your white goods, well, of course, they live in the separate utility room. So I really, really can't wait to show you this property. It will blow your mind. But one has to do it properly. So we won't approach from the kitchen. I'll take you to the front door. you enter into this very large hallway with Minstrel Gallery. And so I was going to say something quite magnificent about this dining room. But I don't think I really need to, do I? Gorgeous. There's of course a downstairs toilet. So here in the sitting room, 
it just goes to show you what the current owners have as far as the attention to detail about this property. It starts here with the stone reveal. We then have the plaster, which is beautifully painted. And then of course, we have the stone that the house was originally built with. And funnily enough, it still really is built with it. This is the house. How fabulous is that? So, here we are in this absolutely exquisite drawing room. There are three French doors out to your garden. There's this terrific white ceiling with all the beams. And it really is, well, it's almost colonial. It's beautiful. And now is probably a good time to say to you that um, there are two different prices for this property. One is a turnkey where all of the furniture will be left in the house. And there are some spectacular pieces of furniture, I assure you, in this property. And another one is, of course, where it will be completely emptied and you can just move in here and bring your own things. I, for one, know which one I would want to have. It really is beautiful. Anyway, time probably to take you upstairs and um, show you some of the bedrooms. Oh, and whichever one you decide to do, by the way, this fireplace has to stay here. It's part of the building. And of course, yes, you knew, Napoleon III. Why wouldn't it be? So let's go up into the Minstrel Gallery and look at the bedrooms en suites the additional sitting rooms and kitchens. Even though in typical French country style the home has shutters on the windows, all the curtains are double lined and functional. Now that's very unusual. Here's a separate set of stairs leading from the bedrooms to the main kitchen. So, just when you think you've seen everything that's going to surprise you in this house, we come through to the master bedroom suite. Obviously, en suite.
doors that side to go out to your private terrace. Windows here to look over the front garden. But there's a set of stairs there which lead up to the Pigeonnier, which has been restored painstakingly by the current owners to be perfect. And you know, for me, I think it really should be the boudoir. Kind of sets the scene really, doesn't it? So let's go and look outside. The glorious courtyard leads you to the double garages. To the rear of the house is your own private wood and some lovely terraces and courtyards. And what I like, which is this fabulous little area I found, is you can come up to this amazing gazebo here with your cup of tea or your gin and tonic, depending on what time of day it is, and uh, look over the house and also up the pathway there to your own enchanted forest. Beautiful. Here's the lovely swimming pool. So what we've got over here, separate to the main house, apart from, of course, the gym and the barbecue area, is two separate bedrooms here with two bathrooms. They just need their sanitary wear fitting. Upstairs is a lot of space and ready to have a kitchen fitted. Over there, of course, is the staff quarters. Two double beds, two bathrooms, fabulous balcony overlooking the swimming pool. And also here, there are three spectacular spiral staircases. One, of course, because we're in France, goes down to your wine cellar. How nice is that? Out at the front of the house is the large vegetable plot.
and a separate garden with additional parking for guests. And just here is the current owner's separate office. And so here we are with my, uh, my cheese and my fabulous rosé wine from the market earlier on. Um, just sat enjoying my amazing time at this fabulous house in France. So as I said at the very beginning, it really is possibly one of the most extraordinary properties I've ever had the privilege of filming. So if you'd like to come and look at the place and see for yourself what an amazing lifestyle and what a superb place this would be to come and live, please get in touch with us. All the details are below. And just come and see, well, just a little bit of what I've enjoyed. You really won't be sorry. And you know, I really think I'll be leaving just a little bit of my own heart right here in France. <laughs>